Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my 2023 year in review. So 2023 was a great year for Rue and I as far as model shows. We were actually able to make it to 12 different model shows. We brought models to 10 of those shows. Um, we had a great time at all of them. They were either in New England or in New York or New Jersey. And we really had a great time doing that. I'm going to also show you the few builds that I did in 2023. But first, I want to do a shop card shout out. So this shop card shout out is to Hobby Barn. If you're watching my video and you've never heard of Terry, a.k.a. Senior, from Hobby Barn, oh, what am, how am I kidding you? If you're watching my channel, you have to know who Terry from Hobby Barn is. Anyway, he is probably the best... Um, supporter of the modeling community. He hangs out in a lot of the live chats, participates in them, and really supports all of us who like to build models. As you probably know, Terry does his own uh, hangout on Thursday nights. So if you're not doing anything on a Thursday night, you definitely got to tune in to Hobby Barn. Thank you, Terry, and we really enjoy your live chats. Okay, guys, here is the first build I did in 2023. It's a Ford Raptor, and it's in pure red metallic, TS95. And I think, it, I think it's a gorgeous color. I, I really like, this is one of my favorite models. I mean, who doesn't like a Raptor in red? My next model that I did in 2023 my assistant is going to place it on the turntable. Thank you, assistant. You're welcome. This is my uh, 135th scale NASCAR that goes with my NASCAR Coca-Cola hauler. So we went a little um, out of the books for the decals and such so that we could put Coca-Cola ones on it. This is also the same color red, and I think it looks really nice on here. And. The next build in order is the little teeny tiny Volkswagen, which I think is an awesome build. Um, it was a lot of fun to do, and it's the first one I did in a flat color. And if you look real close, you'll see there's a little guy in there. And that was really fun too. I thought that would be really hard, but it turned out um, that it really wasn't. The only part of the model that I'm not happy with is both of the uh, license plates and the decals were really kind of crappy but anyway overall I think it looks really neat next so this model was for uh, the pl classic plastic model club club challenge you had to build a Lamborghini this is a snap together uh, Aoshima Lamborghini Aventador and it's in um, it's a gold color, I forget the name exactly. Pure gold. Pure gold, Rue says. And I think it came out really cool. But I gotta say, for a snap kit, I don't think this was something that, like, for a kid kid to do. And there he goes off of the racetrack. Um, all right, we're not gonna show him anymore because his wheels move. <laughs> and we don't need to have it, we don't need to have a crash in the model room. <laughs> Because I think I might have another show I can take him to. And then this is uh, my last model for 2023. I'm not totally done with it yet. I have to paint the uh, logos on the back and on the front. Because this kit that I got um, didn't have any decals in it. What I really liked about the kit, though, it was already painted. And I love the color combination. So I really didn't have the heart to change it by painting it. And truthfully, the decals, some of them were like pinstriping to go around all of the black and then a stripe right down the middle. And honestly, I think I like it better without them. But because it didn't have decals, I don't have the decals for the Corvette logo. So I've painted the white and I'm going to have to paint the black little checkerboard on it and the red. And I think that's about it. So this is this will be wrapped up um, shortly. Uh, but basically most of it was built in 2023. So that's my year 2023 in review. Thank you for watching.
And remember, we don't stop modeling because we grow old. We grow old because we stop modeling. Don't be the first one to grow old. Thank you.